Ben Shapiro uploaded a video to his YouTube channel where he went to a public library to teach children the fundamentals of politics, which is hysterical to me. Now, if you're wondering why he did this, well, it's because the nearly 12 minute long video is an ad. It's a 12 minute long advertisement for a conservative book company marketed towards children called Conserva Kids. And in case you're wondering, no, of course, this isn't indoctrination. It's not indoctrination when conservatives do this. But if a liberal or a leftist were to try to teach children about politics, then that would be indoctrination in case you didn't get that by now. Um, but anyways, the reason why I'm talking about this is because it went viral. One particular moment went viral because Ben Shapiro said something so stupid that one of the kids decided to challenge him. A kid acknowledged that Ben Shapiro was out of line here. And do you want to know what debate God Ben Shapiro did when he was challenged by a small child? He backed down like the beta male cuck that he is because of course he did. Take a look here and then we'll talk about this uh, a little bit more because this uh, this speaks to uh, something that is more interesting with respect to conservative politics and a trend that they're kind of headed in. But let's watch. Okay, so who has an idea about government? Go for it. I don't. <laughs> government is what takes all of your money and gives you very little in return. That is not true. Okay, that, that's, that's kind of, I mean, it's kind of true. It depends that's on the kind of government. That's what taxes are for. Yeah, that, that is what taxes are for, but, but taxes are theft, children. The reality is that government is necessary so that people don't hurt each other, so that people don't people. murder each other. Right, so people don't eat people. That's right. Yes. You do need a government to prevent people from eating people. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, who knows who the president Biden. is right now? Biden. Yeah. Biden. Joe, Joe Biden. Biden. That's right. Biden. Unfortunately, Joe Biden. <laughs> Joe Biden. <laughs> I'm yeah. with you. Unfortunately, yeah. Joe Biden. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, Joe Biden. Yeah, Trump yeah, so bad, I know. Trump Biden. Yeah, Trump, yeah. he is the best. He was better. <laughs> Don't insult the president <laughs> because he will come and attack you. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now. <laughs> yeah, he's way off base about this. So, one of the questions that I frequently get asked is, how do I talk to my own children about conservative values and the things that matter? And my answer is, Conserva Kids. Conserva Kids brings you books, like Home of the Brave, for example, in which they discuss things like American values and American history. They're beautifully illustrated, they're really well written, and they have values that you can feel comfortable sharing with your children, which is the most important thing. There's so many forces out there that are seeking to twist what kids think. There's so many people out there who want your kids to believe things that they really shouldn't believe, who want to take control of your child's education away from you. Not so with Conserva Kids. Conserva Kids is the way that you can teach your kids about the stuff that matters. That was great. So Ben Shapiro got challenged by a child and then backed down. I mean, if even a child acknowledges that your point is a little bit too reductionist and feels the need to scrutinize your position, maybe you should rethink your worldview. And what Ben Shapiro is trying to do here is simplify political terms to make them more easily digestible to children. But even when he does that, he still manages to somehow contradict himself. So he referenced the social contract when he said uh, the government is necessary so people don't hurt each other. But he said that immediately after he said that taxes are theft. That's the whole social contract. Isn't the point of us pulling resources to create a government to protect property the point of all of this? I mean, he he doesn't understand his own worldview, and it's because he's trying to sell people on a philosophy, a political philosophy, an economic philosophy that is antithetical to them thriving. The whole point of conservatism and capitalism is to protect capital. It's profits over people. And you can't really frame it as this rosy thing. You have to try to sell it in this individualistic package. Well, see, it's not that we're leaving you abandoned and we're just trying to hoard wealth, it's that you're an individualist. You want to pull yourself up by your bootstraps, and you want to take care of yourself. You want to be responsible. So he's trying to brainwash children into this conservative cult, knowing that probably most of them will grow out of this, but hopefully if you brainwash enough, maybe they'll just default to conservative and they'll vote Republican, and that's a win-win-win. This is a trend with Republicans because we even see uh, PragerU doing the same thing now, PragerU kids. You see Matt Walsh writing an anti-trans children's book. I mean, they're trying to indoctrinate children in the same way that they claim that leftists are trying to indoctrinate children if there's a rainbow flag or Black Lives Matter flag in classrooms. Indoctrination for me, but not for thee. Again, we know exactly what they do if the shoe were on the other foot. They scream at the top of their lungs when fucking Kellogg's or whatever uh, cereal company 
does an LGBTQ celebration. They freak out because Mr. Potato Head changed its branding so that way it's just Potato Head and it's not Mr. So it's now gender neutral. So any little thing that they see with regard to, you know, marketing towards children, they're hypersensitive. And perhaps you should be hypersensitive because kids are very impressionable. But they just straight up want to indoctrinate children with conservative dogma and they don't want you to do the same. So, you know, I don't really have much left to say. I honestly just played this clip, admittedly, because I want to see a kid dunk on uh, Ben Shapiro, because who wouldn't want to see that? But, you know, what they're doing is extremely slimy and nefarious. Um, you know, kids don't need to know about your dumb fucking conservative ideology and how tax cuts for the wealthy is good because taxation equals theft. No, they should be learning about actual things that matter like history, real history, but no, because that's critical race theory. And they should be learning about, you know, caring and sharing. Oh wait, but that's communism. And they should be, you know, learning about loving one another. Oh wait, but that might be pro LGBTQ or something like that. See, it's just, they want everything that they believe to be instilled at a very young age into children, but just caring about the planet even is controversial to conservatives. So, you know, th this is the double standard. What applies to to you doesn't apply to them. So, you know, the main takeaway here that I want to leave you with is that don't be afraid to push what is objectively true, to push good things, and don't worry if a conservative is going to accuse you of, like, indoctrinating children, because to the extent that you can indoctrinate children, they're going to grow out of it. But I think that instilling values in children uh, is is okay, right? It's a good thing. But they're going to accuse you of indoctrinating children into hating white people if you teach them about the real history of this country and stuff like that. So my point is don't be afraid. Don't back down. Just do what you know is right because they're making their case. So we shouldn't silence ourselves and self-censor all because we don't want to be criticized by re Republicans. They're going to criticize you no matter what. They're going to do what they believe is going to help them have an edge in, in the culture and society more broadly speaking. So we should do the same. Yes, we need to instill these values in the children, teach them about the real history of the United States, teach them actual good values to respect people and care for people and be open-minded. And we shouldn't worry about that. We shouldn't be afraid of what they're going to think because it doesn't matter what they think because these are not serious people. These are people who care about one thing and one thing only, protecting capital. And this is what they're doing here. This is the whole point of their project, their indoctrination project, to be clear, because this is indoctrination. It's the same thing if they do it. If they say that when we teach children about leftist values or whatever, it's indoctrination, it's certainly the same thing with them. But honestly, who gives a shit what they think because they're fucking psychos.